Hi everyone. I'm back to working in my coffee journal again. I've um, rounded up a few little bits to put in here so I thought I would just um, turn on the camera and share that process with you guys. I'm just gonna on some pages like this one I feel like needs a little bit of something so I thought I would add a little of this washi tape um, that I like a whole lot. And so I'm just going to put like a little piece here, a little piece there, just to kind of help um, finish out this page. There we go. I think that looks a little bit more cohesive and there's a little more added. I like how it blends in with the red on the page behind it too. It's kind of cool. And the little bits of turquoise and blue kind of work in with this, so I like it. In fact, I might want to put a little bit of that over here just to tie it in some more. Love it. There. So you can see how just a little bit of um, colorful washi tape can really um, turn a page around. Even a page you like, you can make it even um, more fun and more colorful and more whimsical just by adding those little bits. So I love that much happier with both of those pages now. <laughs> okay, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, on this one, I got this at a Starbucks store one day. Um, it's just part of their rewards program. So I thought for now, um, I'll probably write here eventually, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and um, tuck this under here. And that just adds a little bit more of the Starbucks um, theme going on on this page here. And let's see. I have to remember, I pulled out some things, but as I go through here, I'll have to remember exactly uh, what I was thinking about putting where. Okay, on this one, um, I've got a, an image here. This is a photo that I took um, probably back around 2010. And um, I loved that cup, uh, the colors and patterns on it. So I took a picture of my coffee, and then after the, after I got the picture in my computer, I, I put the little words on there that says, sometimes it's the little things that matter most. <laughs> but I thought that would look really pretty right here uh, with the greens, tying in with the greens over here on this page. And I just think it looks nice. There's some pinks there that kind of tie in. So I like that. So I'm going to attach that. Okay. So on this side, on this page, I'm going to put this little image I found in a magazine. I love it. It, it shows um, a girl spilling her coffee saying, ah, not again. And the advice on this block said, cut back on caffeine. And I think the article on the page, I remember it had several different blocks of different things, and I don't know why they would give anybody advice about cutting back on caffeine. <laughs> but I really liked the image, and I liked what it said, because um, I think when I put it here, I'm going to put down here my reply to that.
love it. Let's see, I think I had something to go in here. Yes, I do. <laughs> I love this. This came off of Pinterest. Okay, I think I'm gonna round the corners so it goes with the rest of that uh, piece up there. So much fun just adding little bits and pieces into this journal every so often. I just have the most fun doing that. Okay, now down here I have a little stamped image on a piece of coffee stained paper. And I thought that would look um, cute right here. And then I had this laying in my um, basket of things and I thought that would be really cute to put on the edge. like cut this off and then put that on the edge. I think that would be really cute. There, and then a piece of this is all I mean, just right here. Love it. And I'm gonna tear that too. I'm gonna tear the top and then I'm gonna tear it off uh, down here. Maybe right about there. It's so cute just being able to use little bits and um, see I'll be able to see that behind when this flap is closed. But just being able to use little pit, bits and pieces of leftover stuff, I think that's so cool. So cool and so fun. Okay, so let's, um, let's put this on. I guess y'all can hear my thunderstorm going on out there. All right, let's see. I have to remember where it was. Yeah, that's good. Okay. A little area here that missed the glue so I'm gonna put a little bit on my um, palette knife here just a just a tiny little bit and I'm gonna slide it up under here and that way it's all glued down okay and then this carefully put glue on this This is also coffee stained. Um, I'm a little notepad. Okay, over here I've got a little bird that is from my my little washi tape birds. I've already put his little feet on right here on the uh, the coffee sign, and that's just the washi tape. And then I stuck the rest of the bird onto a piece of um, just printer paper because I wanted it to be um, opaque. I didn't want it to be able to see the background bars and things through the bird. So I just need to finish cutting that out real quick. It's very tiny. I think it's going to be so cute sitting up there on the sign. Okay. All right. I'll put some
some glue on it. to put glue on here again because it didn't get on the beak. There we go. <laughs> that is so sweet. And I know that sign is inside, but I don't care. <laughs> He's so cute. So I need to um, put a little bit of white maybe up here on his beak so we can see it. It kind of blends into the background. There we go. And a little bit of white in his eye. And then we're good. Much better. Yay! Little birdie inside the coffee shop. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else? I know I had some plans for some of these things. I'm just trying to remember what those plans were exactly. Okay, I have a little playing card that um, is a coffee deck. And so this is the back of the, um, the playing cards. I love it. And uh, this is the Ace of Spades, which has the coffee cup on it with the little coffee beans. I love it. So I want to include it in my book, of course. So I think I'm going to tip it in right here so that I can still see the back of the card and I can still see the little birds. Right now, let's see. I have a a little fabric uh, panel that was gifted to me, and I'm gonna put it on this page. I thought it looked really nice there with the uh, blues and the pink. There's a little bit of a. This was actually orange, but the way it printed out, it kind of has a pink tone, pink or red tone. So. I kind of like how that looks, so I'm going to attach that, and I think I'm going to do the same thing and maybe just tip it in right on the edge of the page. That's what I think I'll do. Now inside the flap, I have a picture that I'm going to put inside. This is just a photo that I took. And I took it because I liked the uh, inside of the cup has a dragonfly in it. <laughs> and um, I just really like that cup. And so I took a picture. And this happens to be one of those sticker images from my, um, uh, what is that called? Sprocket, it's a little sprocket cam uh, printer. So it is a sticker. I'm just going to put it inside right here. Okay. Love it. Okay, and I'll probably come back and do some more to this page later. Um, but back here, I was thinking, I've got this little phrase that says first coffee and so since this already says coffee I think I'm going to cut the first off and put it right here. I think that's going to look cute. Okay 
right. Now I'm going to move back here a little bit and um, all right, I'm going to go back to this page. I had fi uh, found this little piece of trim that I think I want to put right inside here next to the coffee bag right here. And in addition, I'm going to add this little tab, although I'm going to cut it down just a little bit, and I'm going to add that right here on this little uh, space, and maybe even say open right here. Now, um, there's a page near the back here that, yes, this page. I cut this out of a magazine and I think I want to include it here. I just love the coloring and the imagery. It's just gorgeous. So before I put that there, I'm going to line the bottom edge with some washi tape and, um, also, I'm going to use a strip from um, a catalog and um, cover the top edge of the page because I think it'll blend real well with that image. Looks really cool. I apologize, I forgot to turn the camera back on. I glued on this picture and added the words. And then over here, I added another little strip to kind of tie in with the uh, cup over here and the other reds and pinks that are there. So I put that there and then I just doodled with a Posca pen, um, the little leafy uh, branches right here. And that's all I've done. So what do I want to put here? Let me find something. I, I like these little buttons, I think. I'm going to use those there. They're just a nice little addition to the page, just for fun. There we go. That looks so much better. The tiniest little things, guys, I'm telling you, it makes such a difference. I have one of my little um, coffee stickers. It says coffee time. Oh, anytime is coffee time. And I'm going to put that back here uh, under this little flap. Like that. Yep, that's very cute. Okay, love that. And let's see. Um, back here near the front, um, I wanted to put on the inside of this, I was thinking about putting this little sticker. It's something I tore off of a, an envelope, but I think it looks kind of cute here. And it kind of ties in with the yellow here. And it says, home is where my coffee cup is. <laughs>
cute. So I have some um, little coffee cup stickers on this big sheet. This is pretty old from 2009. <laughs> and um, it's about family and just kind of a bunch of general things. But it did have these coffee cups on it. And there's another one right here, which is really cute. So um, I'm going to use a little strip of this. I think I'm going to put it right across here. It will kind of help tie all these greens in. I think it'll look nice. This one right there. Yep, right there. And then I'll keep the rest of this for later. Maybe there's another page I can put some more on. But this one's going to go here. That's cute. I love it, actually. I'm going to put a little bit of glue, I think, just to be on the safe side. Because it is an older sticker, and we know how those can be. Just going to put a little glue stick on it. Okay. Right there. So I think that's about all I had for today, and um, I hope you guys are still enjoying creating in your coffee journals. Yeah, even if you're doing little things like going back and sticking a little something where there's an empty spot, um, it's just fun to have a little journal like this set up to just play in whenever you find little bits and pieces that you want to stick in. That's all I've been doing, just finding little bits and things that I wanted to save. And um, so I'll come back and do uh, one more video in this particular journal and fill in some of these little areas that, um, that still needed something. There's a couple of, there's a blank page here. There's a couple of um, blank spots here. And, um, you know, just little, little spots that I might, I might finish off and I might just hold some of the spaces for future things that I might find. And... Who knows, maybe I'll just do another coffee journal. I don't know. But um, I have really had so much fun with this one, and so um, I'm looking forward to uh, kind of giving it a complete feel, even though I can go back anytime and put things any place. So thanks for joining me today, and uh, we will see you guys again soon in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.